All right, just wanted to make a quick video going through a quick outline of scriptures that refute the Luciferian heresy of Pelagianism uh, and also prove that mankind does have uh, corrupt sinful bodies of flesh. Now, this is not Calvinism where it's total depravity, okay? Calvinist total depravity is a perversion and twisting of this scriptural truth that I'm about to show from the Word of God. Uh, Calvinist total depravity says that man is so depraved they can't even choose God, which is blatantly unscriptural uh, and contrary to just numerous scriptures where God's calling all men to repent, you know, Acts 17, verse 7, or 30 down to verse 31, uh, 2 Peter 3, 9, Luke chapter 24, verse 44 down to verse 47, and then blames them if they don't repent. You got, for example, Matthew chapter 11, verse 20 down to verse 24. So I've done videos refuting Calvinism, but Pelagianism is every bit as heretical and false and Luciferian as Calvinism. See, it's a whole false dichotomy. It's, it's two extreme opposites of each other battling with each other, and neither one of them is a scriptural position. So here is just a scriptural outline uh, proving that there is the mankind, that basically man, mankind does have corrupt sinful bodies of flesh. So, which again flies in the face of this Pelagian heresy, this Luciferianism of Pelagianism. So, first of all, uh, no man can say they have made their heart pure or clean from sin. Proverbs 20, verse 9. No man is clean that is born of a woman. Job 15, verse 14 to 16. Job 25, verse 4 to 6. And Job 15, verse 1 to 4. Even in his best state, mankind is still vanity. Psalms 39, verse 5 to 11. Psalms 62, verse 9. And Psalm 144, verse 4. No man could stand if God were to mark his iniquities. Psalms 130, verse 3 to 4. Psalms 143, verse 1 to 2. And Job 10, verse 14. Uh, if a man says they're perfect or without sin, they're lying. Job 9, verse 20. And 1 John 1, verse 8 to 10. All of man's righteousness are as filthy rags in God's eyes. Isaiah 64, verse 4 to 8. We are by nature children of wrath. Ephesians 2, verse 1 to 3. The sinful man offends in all. James 3, 2. There is nobody that doesn't sin. Ecclesiastes 7.20, 1 Kings 8.46, and 2 Chronicles 6.36. Uh, fallen man is corrupt and dark-minded. Ecclesiastes 9.3. Sinful man's hearts are wicked and untrustful. Jeremiah 17, verse 9. And imagine evil from youth. Genesis 8, verse 21. Sinful man is accustomed to do evil. Uh, Jeremiah 13, verse 22 down to verse 23. Uh, man is born in corruption and sin. Psalm 51, verse 5. Psalm 58, verse 3. Isaiah 48, verse 8. And compare with Proverbs 22, verse 15. A sinful body of flesh uh, is a consistent failure and, off, and basically will cause you to fail. Psalms 109, verse 24. Psalm 73, verse 26. And Psalms 40, verse 12. Nothing good dwells in the sinful body of flesh. Romans 7, verse 14, down to verse 25. Fallen men, especially false prophets, are servants of corruption. 2 Peter 2, verse 19. Fallen man loves darkness rather than light. John 3, verse 19, down to verse 21. Fallen man has a mortal body of sin. Romans 6, 6. Romans 6, 12. Uh, even the saint have corrupt bodies of flesh that are described as vile, Philippians 3, verse 20 down to verse 21, and these vile bodies are not redeemed until the rapture, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 42 down to verse 54, and Romans 8, verse 21 to 25. Uh, the saint has a struggle between the lust of the sinful flesh and the fruit of the Holy Spirit, Galatians 5, verse 16 down to verse 23, and Romans 13, 14, and through Adam's fall, sin was brought upon mankind, Ro uh, Romans chapter 5, verse 12 down to verse 21. So the scriptures give a clear uh, refutation of this Luciferian heresy of Pelagianism, which states essentially that mankind is inherently good. Now, Ecclesiastes 7.29, uh, 7, chapter 7, verse 9, 29, I'll, I'll put it that way, does say that uh, man was made upright, but then we went astray by our own, our own doing. See, that's where Calvinism goes wrong, is where they say that basically God ordained sin. No, we do it by our own choice. It's our own fault. We made ourselves sinful. God didn't cause that. Okay, also... Proof on that is James 1, verse 13 down to verse 14, and Galatians 2, verse 17 to 18. Okay, we make ourselves transgressors. God does not tempt us with evil, we're tempted by our own lusts. So, anyway, wanted to point that out. Uh, again, Pelagianism is Luciferianism, and it's every bit as false and heretical as Calvinism. So, anyway, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.